Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For a long time now, we wanted to make a series on our YouTube channel, but we just didn't know how to call it because sometimes we get these random fun ideas that we want to do. But a few weeks back when we were shooting our video, we accidentally came up with this name. Okay, now we're gonna try and find a new location for the portrait. Oh, wait, there, there is good. Here, hold my Nazca. Why are you gonna do some silly challenge? What? Ah, like hold my beer. <laughs> awesome. So this is gonna be the first episode, the pilot of our new series. It's gonna be called Hold My Lenska. So for this first challenge, we're gonna use the Sony a 7 IV and the Samyang AF-135 1.8 because when this lens came out, my first thought was telephoto fast, perfect for Bokeramas. <laughs> when they introduced me first with Bokerama portraits, I was just mind blown because the results is so amazing. So if you guys don't know what Bokerama is, Bokerama is a portrait technique made by Ryan Brennizier. So you probably know it as Brennizier Panorama. And there's no big secret behind it. Technically, you create a, a portrait using the panorama technique. When you do that, just like with any other panoramas, you virtually creating a large sensor so your crop factor won't be more than one it's going to be a fraction of one so for example for micro photos you have the crop factor of two but for a panorama you can have a crop factor of 0 0.3 when i first saw the bokerama we created in new brighton i just thought to myself that it'll be cool if you could do that with selfie but i didn't think it's possible and that's what i say hold my lens cap so Mr. Pizza, how do you make Bokerama alone? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> so a selfie panorama is quite a challenge because it's almost like a paradox that for a selfie, obviously hint is in the title, you do everything yourself. But for a panorama, you need a second person who moves the camera and takes the shots. So who's going to be the second person? And that's when I came up with the idea. Let's just use our giant VBLS as the second person because with the app, it can do panoramas. And then you're going to focus it. That was the second challenge I had to overcome. You can do it two ways. The first one is that if you're far enough, then your depth of field is probably deep enough that if you pre focus the camera, you can just walk up there and hope that you're going to be in the <laughs> focus. Yeah. But also, you can use one of these. A remote control just for the focusing and then what up for the shooting so it's not that easy as it sounds that sounds complicated sir it is two things that pc is really bad at is portraits and selfies so Thanks. for this selfie rama challenge i have to set up the place for him and help him because there's no helping <laughs> and we're gonna use this new prop i just got it for father's day and for a crazy challenge, let's just go crazy with everything. Let's yeah. do a crazy hairstyle. Jeez, you know you can slow my hair as soon as if you want. What? I'm sure you can just do your selfie, man. Just do it. So I have the A7 for ready uh, with the Samyang AF135 1.8. It's all on the Giant Vbill S. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, the application and start connecting i have the ninja v atomos ninja v here so i can see what's going on and i also have the remote control ready so the first step is i'm setting up how i want uh, the panorama to go so i want i have to set first the director's top left corner and then the bottom right corner so what i'm doing now i start the panorama mode and start adding the two waypoints. So first I have to do the top left corner, which is going to be somewhere around the first shelf and this wall. So I just press add waypoint and then I move the camera to where I want to finish, which is about I would say here. So I had a second waypoint. Now the next thing I have to do is to add the right amount of steps. So right amount of horizontal and vertical steps. 
you have to make sure that you have uh, enough space for stitching. So I was, was thinking to do something like six by six and let's see how it ends up. So six by six and I leave the shooting direction clockwise. You have to make sure that you do the top left to bottom right because if you put top right to bottom left then it will start on the bottom left so it will always start on the left side and you want to start on the top because that's where your face is so you want to make sure that there's no small movements that will put you out of focus so you want to get the face done as quick as you can all right so everything is set up now what i'm going to do is i just put the camera roughly where my face will be for focusing so as for your exposure you want to do everything in manual so you set the shutter speed aperture and iso as well and those are the wise balance so you make sure that all the photographs are going to be exactly the same so now comes the tricky part the shooting so basically what i have to do first i have to set the focus which i'm going to do with the remote control and then i will have to start recording but the trick is i can't really look on the phone where the button is because if i do that when i'm back I might be slightly out of focus so what I do I will just put my finger over it and hope that I'm pressing the button and once I did that I will just throw the phone down here on the pillows because <laughs> obviously I don't want the cracked screen so wish me luck let's get the prop and let's get the hair ready <laughs> all right so let's shoot Focus set. So as you can see, the result is quite mind-blowing. And if you want to recreate the same image with a single shot on a full-frame camera, you will need a lens roughly about 42 millimeter f 0.6. So to show you guys the difference, I took a shot of Peter using a 35mm f1.4 and the difference is massive. So the challenge was quite tricky but I think we succeeded yes. and with the help of a Jen gimbal it was quite easy. But for DJI users, don't worry because we asked our friends and fellow Samyang Ambassador Jay Gilmore to show you how to do a selfie-rama using a DJI gimbal. So this is my very, very simple setup for a selfie with my gimbal on here. I'm going to be sitting over there, set the gimbal up. First thing I want to do is connect my phone to the gimbal to take the shot. Connect my gimbal to my phone. Just give it a second. There we go. So I click on create and I want panorama. The first thing I want to do is set up the sensor type, as he has full frame, focal length, which is 135mm, overlap and two second timer. I click on the first point and I move that to where I want it. Then click on the second point, do exactly the same thing again. If I'm happy with that, click back on there and then start the shot by clicking this button here. Let me just run through that. I'm happy with that. So the next thing I really want to do, now I'm happy with whereabouts it is, is actually sort my focus out. Because I'm doing this by myself, I'm gonna set focus, put it on manual, run to the spot, and then because I can, can use it via my phone, I'm gonna start, start the shot with my phone after I've done my focus. So I'm gonna put it into the middle where I'm going to be and start focus from there. As you can see, I have my ninja here I'm just going to set up on here where the focus point is. There we do. There we go. Nice and easy. Time to take the shot. Put 
put the camera on my starting point, pick your paws, and start it off. And there we have a shot. Thanks Jay for this quick walkthrough and as you guys can see, whatever gimbal you're using, the process is exactly the same. Yeah, because it's basically the same principle. Yeah. And if you haven't yet, then make sure you visit Jay's channel and subscribe as well because he's posting some amazing wedding videos and some really beautiful videos from one of the best places in England, the Lake District. So now you have your images, but you still have a lot to do left because you have to stitch them together and then edit the stitch photo. For stitching, you can use any software you want. You can use a Photoshop or you can use Affinity Photo or you can use a dedicated software like the Free Hugin. Or if you do a lot of panoramas, just invest in PT GUI because that's the best software to do it. So that's it for today's self drama challenge. I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions at all, please let us know in the comments below. Also, if you have any challenge, photography challenge you want us to do, let us know in the comments. Yeah, I'm not going to eat chilies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you guys still haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys on our next one. Bye.